Hey there, I wanted to make a video for anyone who's never been to Sedona before or maybe you have been and you're wanting some ideas of what to do while you're there, whether it's just for a day or maybe a few. So first I'm taking you on a trail and the one we're completing is Fay Canyon. To park at this trailhead, you do need a Red Rock Pass. Like most trailheads in Sedona, this one has a map showing Red Rock trails throughout Coconino National Forest. I try to keep a picture of this map on my phone to have just in case. And to get to this trail, we just need to cross the street. The trail is back and out, which makes it a total of 2.6 miles. It also has an arch you can access about halfway up the trail. I'll show you, but the path to get to it can be hard to find if you don't have a downloaded map. Please be sure to not litter while on the trail, and if you happen to bring your dog, that's awesome too. Just be sure to clean up after them. While this trail is rated easy, don't let that make you think it's not worth a visit. There are definitely great views of red rocks here, and about halfway up the trail there's an arch you can climb up to and enjoy some additional views. I do suggest downloading the map offline because I had zero cell service out here, especially if you want to access the arch. The path to it's not marked and it's kind of tricky to find. Once you find the trail to the arch and walk for about 45 seconds or so, you look up and you can view the arch and all of the beauty surrounding it. I did not climb up there this visit, but I would love to in the future. Once you reach this sign, it's time to turn around. You'll take the same route to get back to the trailhead. Once you get back to the parking lot, there is another trail you can access if you're feeling up to it. But we had something else in mind. Sedona has a good amount of Mexican restaurants to check out, as well as other types of cuisine, depending what you're in the mood for. After lunch, we decided to head to Uptown Sedona, where several shops and more restaurants are located. Even just walking around here, you can see some of the most amazing views of Sedona, so if you're not up for a hike, don't worry, there are several spots you can still admire the red rocks from around town. Most restaurants around Sedona don't have a dress code unless it's more fine dining, but just be sure to check the website before you go. Some restaurants or businesses prefer no backpacks or hiking attire. There are also art galleries in Uptown and around Sedona that offer beautiful pieces of artwork for sale. Even if you're dining on a budget and maybe decide to grab some stuff from a grocery store and make your own meal, you can find picnic areas and benches all around town. The next day, we decided to explore another trail, one called Big Park Loop, that showcases the infamous Bell Rock and Courthouse Butte. This trail is rated easy on all trails and is a total of 2.4 miles. There are several trails that split off from the path, which is nice if you choose to explore different options. People ask all of the time, what are the best hikes around Sedona? And that question is often answered as there are no bad hikes. If you're looking to enjoy the views of the Red Rocks, I can assure you this trail will not let you down, and this is not one of the more common trails I would say, so that means it's going to be less crowded. For dinner that day, we chose Elote Cafe. This is my second time dining here, and I will say this restaurant is worth a visit if you enjoy restaurants where the chef takes time to carefully craft recipes. 
Everything about the way the food is prepared here is extraordinary and I can't say enough good things about it. While they do take reservations, they fill up quickly, so try to plan accordingly if you make a visit. If you make a visit to Sedona, it's almost mandatory to watch the sunrise or sunset or maybe both. There are so many great spots around town to view either or. And if you're looking for coffee or another kind of pick-me-up, try Oak Creek Espresso. They have great drinks and treats to offer. Have you been to Sedona or are you planning to go? Let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear about it. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more content. Thanks for watching this video and take care.